everybody, what's up? Uh, it's Philip Young back, back at you again. Uh, seek outside. Welcome to the channel. Um, just getting on here to give you a little bit of an update of where I'm at and what I'm doing. Uh, of course, uh, I guess my last video was uh, me getting off trail and uh, making my way back to Frankfurt, not knowing whether I had an, a, a broken foot or, or what was going on. I still don't know. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm in Franklin, North Carolina. Uh, came to see uh, Rob at Outdoor C uh, 76 um, to evaluate my shoes, my foot, and all that good stuff. Uh, and uh, have left there with a good pair of shoes. I uh, went from the Ultra Superior 3.5s and now I am in the Ultra Olympus. Olympus 3.0. Uh, they're very comfortable. Uh, he custom made basically an insole, uh, a little piece of uh, foam to go underneath the insole to uh, correct my step, uh, my foot dynamics, uh, I guess. But uh, highly recommend anybody that's having any shoe, foot, blister, plantar fasciitis, any type of stress situation on their feet, um, go visit Rob. He will hook you up with everything you need to know. Um, basically measures every aspect of your foot, your step. Um, and my whole life I've been wearing size 10s and he put me in a 10 and a half uh, because of the shape and size of my foot. And he said, that's what size I need to wear. So that's what size I'm wearing, 10 and a half. And, uh, he said that suit that could change as my ligament stretch and stuff from from hiking so i'm fully aware of that and fully ready for that to happen but uh um i can't say enough good about the experience i was there for over two and a half hours that is the most thorough um and analysis that i've ever had that uh was not done by a doctor and most of the animal and analysis that I've had done by doctors not even that thorough so kudos to Rob he knows his stuff check him out um, but anyway um, I have not been to an orthopedic surgeon yet um, I started feeling like I was getting better so I ruled out the, the possibility of a break due to the x-rays that I got in Nashville and uh, they didn't tell me anything other than it was probably just a sprain or a bruise. So um, it gets better a little bit and then it gets, then I overdo it and it starts hurting again, swells up again. So there's definitely something going on that needs to be addressed. So um, at uh, the request and uh, suggestion of Rob at Outdoor 76, which I'd already kind of planned on it, but uh, was getting, uh, a little bit of uh, desire to not go through all that again but I'm now planning on going to see an orthopedic surgeon and will probably end up doing some physical therapy again to try to strengthen up those muscles that uh, control my foot stability um, and, uh, and then whatever else might be needed uh, if there is some damage to a ligament or something like that then I might might need surgeon uh, surgery so I'm gonna I'm gonna go on that extra mile and and find out exactly what's going on but until I do that and get a better idea of how long I'm gonna be out of commission um, then I'll have a better idea of when I'm gonna be able to get back on trail right now without knowing that information right now i'm trying to think about planning uh or not thinking about it i, I am planning a return at the uh, flip-flop festival in harper's ferry which i'm going to try to make and then uh, i don't know if i'll shuttle bus or catch a ride or what to uh down to waynesboro and jump on trail at the shenandoah's uh and uh go up from Rockfish Gap and start northbound um, and depending on completely now depending on what the orthopedic surgeon says um, 
I may end up going to Harper's Ferry for the festival and hiking southbound and then just trying the through hike attempt again next year. So I don't know, I've got a lot of thinking and planning and, and stuff to consider uh, before I make any final decision. So, but anyway, I wanted to get on here and give you an update of where I'm at, what I'm doing and uh, throw Rob's name out there and give him some uh, uh, good business uh, opportunities, I guess. Uh, get his name out there and do a little commercial for Outdoor 76. Right on Main Street downtown in Franklin, North Carolina. They got everything from cook pots to cook stoves to sleeping pads to sleeping bags, tents, shoes, socks, hats, gloves, buffs, bandanas, I got all kinds of stuff. And now they are putting in a little, uh, I guess like a pub microbrewery kind of little bar in the back where you can go in and have a draft beer while you're waiting on your shoes or, or just go hang out and have lunch there or something I guess I'm not sure I didn't do a whole lot of research on that but uh, it is a work in progress and uh, that's the only thing there that's a work in progress everything else is spot on so go check them out and uh, if you're heading this way I would even recommend before somebody start a through hike uh, go in there and check them out before you begin and uh, uh, call ahead and make an appointment with with Rob because like I said um, I was there two and a half hours and uh, that is a service I'm, I don't think it's exclusive to through hikers but it might be so uh, but uh, just call talk to him email him set up appointment go talk to him hang out there's a lot of wealth of information there so uh, utilize it and uh, anyway uh, just one touch base and let you know how it's going uh, my fans have been requesting an update <laughs> so consider yourself updated <laughs> but other than that I'll get back on here as soon as I find out more information and I'll let you know keep you posted Thanks again for visiting. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, do whatever. I'm open to comments and uh, discussions. Uh, let me know what you want to see. I'm definitely not out of the picture. Um, so this journey will continue one way or the other. If it's not this year, it will be next year. And either way, I will keep you posted. And if I have to wait till next year to start again, then I will do some kind of videos to keep you posted on my training and what I have to go through to accommodate this through hike. So anyhow, y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and good luck on your hikes if you are doing a through hike now. And uh, I actually got to see a couple people that I got to uh, start the trail with. and. Uh, uh, one of them's Dayglow and her husband. I think his name was Joe, pretty sure. But uh, anyway, uh, good to see you guys. Good luck, and hope they resolve your uh, your uh, issues that you were having to come in there and come check them out. So anyway, uh, good luck. Have a good day. Have a great day. And uh, see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.